Welcome back. Right now at 530, bar owners are still calling uh, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper to pay them back for lost business during the pandemic. And now Cooper is fighting back, urging the state's highest court to take up the case. Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes joining us now to dive deeper into these new developments. Khalif, the big question I have for you is why are they going after Governor Roy Cooper right now? Uh, we hit on it in the open. Obviously, this is from COVID 2022. Mm -hmm or 2020, I should say, opened the door for a lot of litigation, and this is one of them. These bar owners are saying that you've done a couple of things. You violated my constitutional rights, right. my ability to make money, and my due process rights. Mm -hmm. And the governor is saying, oh, well, hold on one second, because remember, this claim was filed back in 2020. Right. So if you remember that time, he issued his executive order for all type of institutions to close, and then they allowed them to open back up. At some point, I mean, for bars specifically, it was only for a limited portion outside. 2021, full access, open the bar and everything. What Governor Cooper is saying is that you guys didn't take the least intrusive remedy and didn't ask for an injunction at mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. They skipped over the injunction and said, we just want the money. He's saying, well, that may have backfired on you in right. terms of legal precedence. The Court of Appeals didn't agree with it and said, no, they did not have to choose the most least intrusive remedy and will decide what the most least intrusive remedy. And he thinks he got they, they got that wrong. So when you look at it, a split state Court of Appeals panel actually ruled in favor of the bar owners this month. So what does that mean is next? And it seems like there's a bit of a communication problem. Well, it's, it's a couple things. So the Court of Appeals, you got 15 judges on the Court of Appeals, but they, they hear these cases in three panel sets. Mm -hmm. And so that three panel set, two of those Republican appointees sided with the bar owners. But the one, Charlotte's own John Orwell, wrote a dissenting opinion. That was key. His dissenting opinion allows Governor Cooper and his team an, a right to go to the Supreme Court. Yeah. So the case will go forward in two ways. It will still be at the Court of Appeals because they said this case can go forward. Cooper wants them to say, listen, should they even have decided that way? And I want the Supreme Court to listen to this portion what John Arrowwood wrote in his dissent. He literally quoted and cited his dissent as reasons that they should address this case head on. So there is precedent for this. There's precedent just with with any of them. They can always say, you know what, it was a two to one and I won't write a dissenting opinion. Right. But him writing that dissenting opinion opened the door for Governor Cooper and his team to take this to the Supreme Court. So what impact will this have on the case moving forward? I, I think the biggest thing is the impact on the, the, this, the law itself you got to look at, at, at Earl Wood's dissent. It was crazy. He says, if and when we face such a crisis again, the governor must be able to make rationally related choices to stem the effects of an emergency quickly without concern of those hard choices that will subject them in the state to some type of prosecution or protracted litigation. Mm -hmm. That's the problem that he sees there. And the governor is saying, I think John R. was right. I need to be able to make decisions that are based in our Constitution and not be scared that I'll get sued down the road for doing something that I have a constitutional right to do. We'll see if the court, the Supreme Court agrees with that argument, mm -hmm. but that's what his argument is in an essence. Well, hopefully bar owners are listening to us and watching us right now and getting a little bit more of an understanding of what's going on uh, on both sides. Kelly Froze, we appreciate it.